comedian. He's, he's one of my amateurs. He's really got into it. Let's give a round of applause to Mr. Stormy Island. Kind of like how this guy's looking at me right now. And it's okay. 
is with the cops. Oh, the ones who call the cops. Right, Nando? Thank you to Nando. Nando was a great motherfucker tonight. Wasn't it? Everybody was great tonight. Wasn't it? All these motherfuckers make you down for shit, right? We, we cater to your, to, your, to, your, uh, to your wedding thing that's going to go on and the top two or four. Are you going to be here before that? Uh, okay, let's, uh, we can uh, call you out in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You going to bring the same friends here? We didn't even get to talk to the friends. Hey, poor guys here. Nobody cares about them. Eh? It's all about your story right now. You watch t uh, minus daytime TV, don't you? That's what they say that shit. That's how you know about that damn thing. It's a scientific, technical way of saying you're a sweaty ass bastard. You sweat too fucking much, dog. That's what I do, guys. I sweat too fucking much. I'm sweating right now. I sweat so much, man. I usually need a shower curtain and a condom when I fucking trick. <laughs> Of course, I'm kidding. There's never a condom. There ain't never a condom. Hyperhidrosis is some real shit, man. I sympathize with other people. I started a hyperhidrosis support group for my hyperhidrosis brethren. I tell them, you know what? You could come by. There's uh, refrigerated air and fans and many cold drinks and towels. Because there's still some of it that sweats, though. That's usually our, uh, our larger uh, hyperhidrosis brethren. Are the ones that usually still sweat, even with the, even with the refrigerator air, man, it still happens. It is, listen to it. And then there's girls that go by, this is one girl that goes by, man, and you know, she hates that she sweats, and she don't give a fuck, but she does, you know, she's not sexy, she says, and you can take a look at her shirt, and just by the sweat rings right here, you can tell what time of day it is, right? So you can look at that other girl and be like, oh yeah, it's a five o'clock person. <laughs> that's just, that's just touching the long high, yeah. <laughs> You got that 3 o'clock, ain't too bad. You know the noon crescent's barely around the underarm, but that 5 o'clock crescent, oh, I got to the long arm, man. <laughs> but she don't give a fuck, she, she a stripper and shit, and she won't even swing around, she goes by the name of Sweaty Jerks. Gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> make it into the stage tonight to give it up for the Sweaty Jerks. And she comes out there all slashing. Wet <laughs> titties just smacking dudes in the face like, yeah. bitch can sweat. Oh, yeah. She got that one. She got that one regular that nobody knows. He come through. He come prepared. Oh, he come with a, with a beach towel. <laughs> oh, I got you, honey. I got you. Any words that deflect through that reflect that that shit that takes the sweat off the workout gear? Just be sitting there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not regular. I don't even know. I come prepared. I bring the, I bring the big old beach towel. I like the way she sweats. I think it's a sweaty, sexy adventure, man. I say give it up for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My hyperhidrosis brother. Y'all have been great, though. I think this is the end of the night. If not, Jerry's gonna say some more jokes. But give it up for a past underground party, right? Yeah. Everybody look good.